What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a Kyogre meta team that features one of the best evolutions of all time, Jolteon. Now when it comes to Jolteon, this Pokemon doesn't get that much love on the ladder. And for good reason, it's not game breaking, it's not OP, but honestly, it's pretty solid, especially with this set right here. I did a few practice matches with this team, and this team was thriving out really, really well, especially Jolteon. Now this Jolteon build over here has the Fairy Terror type with Bolt Absorb and the Choice Spec as its item. It's got Thunder, it's got Shadow Ball, Bolt Switch, and a Luring Voice, a great moveset for Jolteon, making it do a lot of damage. Now we're restricted Pokemon, you guys already know, it's going to be Kyogre, with Drizzle, and the Salt Vest as its item. It's got that Water Terror type, they give it that Water Boost, it's got Water Spout, Ice Beam, Origin Pulse, and Thunder, a top tier moveset for Kyogre. Now, I already mentioned this is a meta team, so our final four Pokemon are Pokemon you guys seen all the time. We got Urshfu, Incineroar, Serena, and Tornadus. Now, Serena's going to be great for stopping first turn priority. No fake outs, no grassy guys while that thing's on the field. Tornadus is going to be great for Tailwind Control, Incineroar doing Incineroar things. And last but not least, Urshfu, big time physical attack and damage. It does have the Toy Scarf, so it's going to be able to outspeed moves, which we absolutely love. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match using Choice Specs Jolteon. For our first match, we're going up against another Kyogre team. So Kyogre versus Kyogre. Our teams are actually very different, which is kind of surprising. They got Shen Pao. We both have Tornadus. He has Rillaboom, Urshfu, and Entei. So pretty different team right here. Um, for me, I believe they're going to lead Tornadus, and I think we should just lead Tornadus as well. That could be an option for us. Shen Pao is an option. They do have inner focus on their Entei, so that can be a little bit of an issue. But we definitely want Serene over here. We definitely want Kyogre, and we definitely want Jolteon because we're showcasing that Pokemon. Now, who should we lead, though? We could lead our Tornadus, which might be in our best interest, right? We have a very fast Tornadus. Actually, max out speed Tornadus, so we could taunt them if we want to. You know what? I'm going to go into my Tornadus. I'm going to go into Kyogre or Jolteon here. What do I want to do here? Jolteon's not bad. Jolteon's not bad here, especially with speed. This thing cooks. Very fast. 182. We're going to go Jolteon here. Get things started off hot here early. Bring Kyogre. Bring Serena in the back end. The only thing I worry about leading Jolteon is no rain, which means Thunder's not hitting 100% of the time, which we really want. So maybe they lead rain. Maybe they do. You never know. Let's see what they end up doing here. But I would love to just taunt their, uh, their Tornadus and then just start throwing Thunders around, right? Or I can Volt Switch Pivot. Ooh, I do have Volt Switch. I do have Volt Switch. A lot of different options for Jolteon. But hopefully the game's working fine today. Because if you guys watched my last video, yes, yeah, so you know the game's not working fine today. There's a lot of glitches and bugs in the online community right now. I don't know what's going on. I had like NPCs just stacked up onto each other. And it was actually really weird. But I end up leading Tornadus alongside with Kyogre. Now I could go into a Tailwind. I might just honestly play it safe and just go into the Tailwind. Hmm. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna play it safe. Go Tailwind. I'm gonna throw Thunder into Kyogre slot. Because if you're not choice uh, Scarf, we're just gonna outspeed and just absolutely truck you, right? Let's do it. So I could have taunted the Tornadus, but that but if that thing's maxed out on speed and he ends up winning the speed tie, then it's like, why would we go for the 50-50 chance when we can have that guaranteed tailwind up and out speed, right? So I like this. I do like this. So we'll see what they want to do here. They could hard swap Kyogre, but who would they go into from here? I'm not too sure, but we're just going to see a Terra type pop out here. Now, is Kyogre straight water? Hopefully, right? I would love to do some big time damage. And of course, it's going to be ice. Now, ice isn't too bad. We still hit it for nice damage. Um, But I think he's just going to ice beam and maybe just take out my Tyrannus. But good thing we do get off a of Tailwind. So, lovely little Tailwind out and about. Let's see what they end up doing here. He's going to go for Tailwind. Now, the question is is this Kyogre choice? Because if not, my Jolteon should be fastest on the field. Which it is. Can we get a Paralyze here too? A Paralyze would be massive. That's some nice damage. We don't get the Paralyze, but Water Spout's going to fly, which we should soak, right? We do soak. That's massive. We love a big time Water Spout soak. We love a big time Water Spout soak. Hmm. I could swap my Tornadus here. But I mean, I should go for Bleak Windstorm. Should I double down to Kyogre? That's the real question. Or do I just get rid of the Tornadus? Because I can get rid of the Tornadus. I could also get rid of Kyogre. Hmm. I definitely want a bleak one storm here. Now who do we get rid of? Kyogre's kind of lower on HP. It could swap. I think we go after Tornadus here. I'm gonna go after Tornadus. 
How can I swap or protect? Yep, cool. Good call on our end. Great call on our end. Great call on our end. Beautiful call on our end. He's gonna go in the roll boom, which is fine. We got Bleak Windstorm flying here. We can swap to Serena if we want to, which is great news for us. Thunder's now gonna fly into this slot. And it's just gonna put this thing on one. Now, can my Tornadoes outspeed? That'd be lovely if my Tornadoes outspeed. Just a nice little Bleak Windstorm picking up KOs. It does. Awesome. Lovely. Solid turn for us there. Great read on our end, predicting either a protect or a swap. That was a good call for us. Great call for us. So now we get rid of Tornadoes. We have Rillaboom low HP. We have Kyogre low HP. And I might want to swap my Tornadoes. I'm not sure. But I could swap my Tornadoes and just keep it for late game for Tailwind. Which could be good news for us. But I, I kind of think that this thing's choice, right? I kind of think that this thing's choice. But I'm going to swap into Serene here. And I'm just going to attack if I can. I could honestly double swap here and go into best. But I feel like you got to be going into a water move, right? You got to be going into like an origin pulse. But honestly, let's just keep Jolteon on the field. I mean, he might die to a fake out here. Fake out, take out kind of combo. But I don't want to double swap. And they just cancel battle early on here. So Jolteon killing it. We pick up a nice little sweep and a rage quit. What a way to get the video started. Rocking out with Jolteon, dropping thunders, making someone cancel the match. Awesome start for us. We're going up against a Shadow Rider Kylarx team here in match number two. They also have Tornadus. They got Urshfu. They got Raging Bolt. And then on top of that, they got the dreaded double fake out combo of Rillaboom and Incineroar. Now, Incineroar is going to be great for us. Incineroar has great typing. And also, they have a few physical attackers. I love Incineroar, especially whenever I go up against Shadow Rider Kylarx teams. I usually like to bring Incineroar. So, I don't know if I should lead it. Or if I should bring it in the back end. Because who should I go here? Tornadus Kyogre could be pretty good. I could go Serene here for the lead here as well. Serene's not bad. It stops inti or fake outs, but Intimidate will still affect it. Which is kind of tough. I mean, I could go Incineroar on my own and just maybe hard swap Serene. That's not bad. Hmm. I'm going to go Tornadus. I'm going to go Incineroar. I'm going to bring Serena in here, and then I'm going to go into Kyogre. Actually, I don't know if I want Serena. I might just want Choice Scarf, Urshfu. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Jolteon, Serene, we don't need you. I understand that they have two Fake Out users and a Thunderclap user. Serena could be good, but I just feel like offensively, we just don't need it, right? I mean, he could have been good up against Rillaboom, which they're probably bringing, but I mean, mm. oh yeah, maybe we should have brought it. We're gonna have to figure out a way around this rule boom if they do lead it. But they end up going Shadow Rider Kalex into an honest. We end up going Urshfu, which is or not Urshfu, Incineroar, which is a beautiful lead for us. We absolutely love that lead. And I'm just gonna taunt their Tornadus, to be honest. I am just going to taunt their Tornadus. They might even just protect their Tornadus. If they have it. But I'm just gonna taunt it. I'm just gonna go into a taunt and I'm just gonna go into a knockoff here, right into the uh Calyrex slot. Straight up attacking this thing. Hopefully it doesn't trash slice into fairy. We can just get off some big time damage with knockoff. And kind of go from there. Let's see. But yeah, we're going to try to taunt this Tornado. Just try to keep Tailwind under control, right? Because if we get taunt before they go, that'd be huge. Because then I could Tailwind next turn, have speed control for my team. And get after it that way. He ends up just withdrawing Calvary, which I don't, I don't mind that too much. You're going to go into Incineroar of your own? Potentially, maybe? No, Raging Bolt, which we're just going to use knockoff onto. And our taunt comes out here, which is gorgeous. It's beautiful. That's a beautiful taunt. You going for Tailwind here? You are going for Tailwind. We love that. We love that. Knock off the fly here. We pick up some nice damage. And on top of that, get rid of its magnet. I thought it was going to be a soul vested. Okay. So now we're sitting here. I could go into Dark Terror type. But I just think going for Tailwind is in our best interest. So I'm going to Tailwind here. And I'm going to go into a knockoff over on this side. Or I'm just going to party shot into the Raging Bolt. Make life a bit easier. Maybe try to get out Kai over here. Maybe try to get out Kyogre. So if I can get out Kyogre in the rain, they don't really have any weather control. They might have rain dance, but with this thing taunted, if I could just get rid of it, we have speed control for a good couple turns. So I tailwind up for my squad. I'm gonna now go for the parting shot into the Raging Bolt. I should outspeed the Raging Bolt. I should outspeed the Raging Bolt, which could be good. Yep, I do. And do I go into Kyogre here? The problem with going into Kyogre here is, who are you attacking with an electric move? That's the scariest part. I mean, my Kyogre does have a Soul Vest, so I could just pop into him. And I think that's going to be my, my right play, right? You could Thunderclap me, but mm, 
might just go into Urshfu. You both have Water Terra. You both have Water Terra, which is terrifying. I'm still going to go into Kyogre. I got Vest, and you're minus one. I think we can eat up a Thunderclap. I think we can eat up a Thunderclap. So let's see what they end up doing here. They are going to go for into Thunderbolt, into the Kyogre slot. That really hurts the soul. That hurts. And you get a crit. All my hard work. Awful. Down the drain. Down the drain. Down the drain from here. Oh, man. That really hurts his soul. I could have dealt with a regular Thunder, but now a Thunderclap will definitely KO me. That really hurts. Do I still attack? Or do I hard swap in, like, Urshfu here? Or maybe Incineroar, because Thunderclap's looking terrifying. Oh man, this hurts soul. How many times how many turns are left in your in your taunt here? One. Oh dude, this is just awful. Screw it. We're just gonna go for it. We're running out of time. We're gonna go for an orange pulse here. That really just hurts, man. That really hurts. And you don't go for a thunderclap. That's fine by me. So at least Kyrie gets off some value if I land this orange pulse. We do get a nice lovely speed drop. Can I get rid of this tornadus? Orgy Pulse flies. It does double connect. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay, so we get off some sort of value. I think he's going to Thunderbolt our Tornadus. And we'll have to get after it that way. That's fine. He goes for Thunderbolt and he just takes out Kyogre. That's fine. Surprised you didn't go for Thunderclap. You could have had a free KO. He might have thought I was swapping or something. So, a good thing for us is just a straight up attack. Okay, so we have Incineroar. We have Urshfu left. We still have Terra as well. I'm going to go into Urshfu here. We got some speed. We need to start attacking. And who are they going to go into? Is the real question. Because I am scared of their uh, of their Shadow Rider. They're going to go into Rillaboom. Oh, man. Rillaboom is terrifying. Man, why do I got to deal with these Pokemon? Why do I got to deal with this? Rillaboom and... Rillaboom and... Uh, what is it? Raging Bolt. Just terrifying Pokemon. I'm going to hard swap into Incineroar. Just intimidate that Rillaboom. Kind of help us out a little bit. All right. So we're looking to kind of get out of the hole that we kind of put ourselves into. I mean, I was super surprised that that Raging Bolt went after my Incineroar slot when I swapped into Kyogre. And then I was even more surprised when it got a crit. Kind of ruined my day. But we're trying to figure things out here now. We're trying just to get after it. Trying to redeem ourselves. Because that was honestly a good play in my head. In my head, it was just like, okay, you attack Tornadus. I have my Kyogre thriving out here. Able to eat up a Thunderclap. All that good stuff. But he ends up just faking us out here, and he's going to go for Thunderclap in this slot and double down. So he picks up a big-time KO. All right. So now we have Fake Out ready to go. They still have Shadow Rider in the back end. I'm going to need my Incineroar if I'm going to win this game. I need Incineroar. Uh, Grassy God is looking scary, but I should be able to eat up a Grassy God. I should be able to eat up a Grassy God. Thunderclap Grassy God, on the other hand, I don't know. But we have to attack here. We have to attack. I have the choice too. Surgeon Strike's not looking good up against any of these guys. So we're just going to close combat. And look at the KO. Huh. Who's scarier? I think Knockoff can KO that thing. I'm going to go close combat here. Oh man, I might just go Will O Wisp. Actually, I can fake out this turn. Yeah, you know, we're going to go close combat here. Actually, Surgeon Strikes should KO. I'm going to go Surgeon Strikes, and I'm going to go Fake Out in the Rillaboom. I'm going to Fake Out in the Rillaboom. Are you Ghost Rillaboom? Please don't tell me you're Ghost Rillaboom. Or is that Electric Raging Bolt? Could be Electric Raging Bolt. It is. Can you eat up this Thunderclap? We really need you to eat up this Thunderclap. This could be big time, because Shadow Rider Calyrex can now not Terrastalize. This could be big for us. So we Fake Out the Rillaboom here. Get off some nice damage. He's going to go for a Thunderclap. And can I soak this? You're minus one. I know it's super effective, but you're minus one. Oh, my lord. We don't soak it. Good terror on their end. We really need that. Because if I picked up the KO onto that thing and had a 2v2, I feel like we could have won this match. With Incineroar on the field, Incineroar is just so good. Incineroar is just so good. But Thunderclap, man. Doing me dirty. I should have brought the Serene, man. I should have bought the screen. Is there any way I can win this? Maybe go for a Thunderclap again and I can just Will-O-Wisp you. Burn you up a little bit. I hope you're outspeeding me now and high horsepower is doing a nice chunk of damage. No Thunderclap comes out here either and I miss my Will-O-Wisp. So everything just straight downhill. 
Just straight downhill. And I definitely probably should have bought Serene over here. Would have been great up against the Raging Bull and Rolburn. But GG store opponents. Our Incineroar actually soaked this one. But I'm running it regardless. So good game. We're one and one. Let's go hop into our third and final match. Look to use Jolteon and look to grab ourselves a win. Final match coming at you guys. We are going up against a Miradon team. So nice little electric terrain is going to do us pretty dirty considering we have no terrain control. But I do like the typings of a lot of our Pokemon. We're going to look to get after it that way. But I think they're going to lead that Pokemon. They could lead it with Whimscott, set up a Tailwind. That could be a little bit of an issue for us. I could go into my Jolteon, which isn't too bad. I mean, Jolteon's got lowering voice with a Fairy Terror type, which is pretty good. And it does have Voltage Root. So we could use it wisely here. We could use it pretty wisely. Um, huh. They also have Trick Room combo. I don't really need my Serena in this matchup. I need it in the last matchup, and I didn't bring it. But I think Tornadus is going to be good. I think Speed Control could be great for us. We also have Taunt. Could go in Trick Room, but I doubt it, right? I doubt it. So I'm still going to lead Tornadus here. Um, do I lead Kai Ogre, or do I lead a Pokemon? Maybe like Jolteon. That could be good. Jolteon could be good. Jolteon could be good. I'm going to go into Jolteon. I'm going to go Incineroar. And last but not least, I'm going to go Kyogre. That's who I want. That's who I, who I want. I do like Incineroar here. It is going to be super effective onto the Furgraph. Knockoff is going to be nice up against pretty much every Pokemon. But Intimidate is going to help us out up against Rock Ogre Pond and their Incineroar. One thing that I don't like about this Incineroar is no Fire Blitz. Fire Blitz is just such a good move. I feel like the best move set for Incineroar is Knockoff, Fire Blitz, Parting Shot, Fake Out. It just works so well in many different instances, but I still like this moveset right here. It's still doing pretty solid. We're still rocking out with it. Let's see who they end up bringing in here. Let's see their lead. I'm actually curious because Miraidon, again, we don't have any way to turn control, so Miraidon could be a bit of an issue for us. And that is exactly who they lead. They go Miraidon and... And what's it called? And Whimscott, which I don't mind. I mean, I could go into the Fairy Terror. I can't get hit by electric moves, which is great for us. Real good for us. And Fairy... Can really counter me right on because you really only have dragon and electric moves right i mean going into this and lowering voice is probably in their best interest right yeah let's do it we're gonna choice in that choice spec damage we're doing it we are doing it we are doing it so if they go and drink a meter into this slot it can't affect us and then if they go into any electric move they can't affect us so we're gonna be great here Gonna be great up against me, Ryan. A little Tailwind out here. Hopefully they're not going for Tailwind, because I would love to just pop a lowering voice and do some massive damage. And they're not going for Tailwind. They are not. We're gonna be able to pop this and just one tap me right on. Get it on out of here! Jolteon, let's go! It's a big time KO for Jolteon, and Moonblast flies in this slot, so we still have Jolteon at full HP, and they're pretty much forced to go into a Tailwind here. So Ogre Pond flies out here. This might be a good turn for me to swap into Incineroar. Not gonna lie. Nice little physical attack kind of drop here. And we can just go Bleak Wind Storm. And see, and reset our uh, Jolteon's choice. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. That's a massive KO for us. Getting rid of me right on? Come on now. Come on now. And now we'll swap into our Incineroar. That's great news for us. Real good for news for us. Real good news for us. So they're gonna go for a Tailwind here, obviously. And they're probably just gonna go into like a... A what's called an Ivy Cudgel into maybe Tornadus, maybe even into Jolteon slot. Should be a little rough, but I do like this Intimidate here. I think it works rather well for us. Nice, lovely Intimidate. Minus one him on attack. And we're going to see a Rock Ogre Pond Terra. All right, so Rock Ogre Pond getting a Terra. I forget what its boost is. It's not attack. Is it defense? I think your thing bulks, bulks you on defense, right? I think I have a lot of special attackers on the team. I think it's defense, right? Body aspect. Defense, yeah. And then Wim Scott goes for Tailwind. Now, can my Tornadus out speed? This would be a nice Tornadus out speed here. It does. Get off some nice damage onto that Wim Scott. Bringing it down to 1 HP. And he probably just Ivy Cudgels and just ends my, my Tornadus' life, right? Tornadus, you a goner? Are you a goner? Yeah, Tornadus is a goner. Okay. Not bad. So, my choice. Actually, go after Incineroar. So Incineroar soaks us. No, you don't. Did you crit me? Wait, 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 come on now. Like, what do you guys want me to do here? I don't, I don't know what you guys want me to do. Really want some help here. Really want some help. I'm gonna go back into Jolteon. I don't know what, I don't know what to do. Just annoys me. <laughs> this game just annoys me. Alright, so I go back into Jolteon because I don't want to go into Kyogre because obviously Kyogre will take insane amount of damage like Horn Leech. 
which I think we should be able to soak. But from here, we still have one turn left in Tailwind, two turns left in Tailwind, which is good. We can go for Bleak Wind Storm. We can just go for a Thunder, which I think is in our best interest with Electric Train still in the field. We're just going to straight up attack. Attack with Jolteon. The Jolteon's been doing good today. We didn't bring it in a second match and we lost, so that might that might have been our problem, just not bringing Jolteon. Jolteon's a stud. But he ends up withdrawing Whimsicott. He's going to save Whimsicott and go into their final Pokemon, which is going to be Ursaluna. Did you think I was going into Electric Move into Ursaluna? I am Choice, which is a little rough. But I mean, Thunder does a lot of damage. Oh my lord, this Jolteon is awesome. And that pretty much wraps it up, right? That pretty much wraps it up. I mean, they're going to have a Tailwind turn without us, which is kind of tough. Ursuline is going to dodge that, which is annoying. And do I reset my choice? I'm not too sure. We definitely want to go Bleak Wind Storm here. And I'm going to go Thunder and just make sure this Wimsicott Scott dies. Who knows? Ursuline might even Terrastalize here in the normal, so Thunder might be a good move for us. So we still have Kyogre. We just need to beat Speed out here. So we, we either need to pick up the KO here, or we need our Tornadoes to survive. Speed's going to be the only factor. And he's going to go for a Moonblast, which we soak. That's beautiful. And Thunder is going to take you out, which is good. And Bleak Wind Storm's going to slide over here. Okay, so... We should be fine here with the whole speed aspect. Unless you double KO with Hyper Voice, but I doubt... I doubt you even can. And Bleak Wind Storm missing again. That's over 2 on the Bleak Wind Storm. We're going to go for Blood Moon instead. We're going to go for Blood Moon instead. And that's fine because you can't go for another Blood Moon, which is nice for us. Which is lovely for us. So they have a turn left in Tailwind. A little tough on our end. They have a turn left in Tailwind. Um, I have my Kyogre. And I have a Soul Vest, which is nice. Now, do I go for Origin Pulse? I definitely want to Terra Water. Or do I just go into Water Spout here? I think we just go into Water Spout here. Oh, we don't have Terra. Do I, do I just go into Water Spout here? I'm vested. What, do you, what, what could you be going for? What could you be going for? A Terra Hyper Voice, right? And honestly, my... Okay, they just canceled match. Never mind. They actually had a shot here. I was kind of scared. But hey, I'll take that cancel all day. 2 and one for today's video with Jolteon. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. 2 and one for today's video. Picking up a win in match number one and in match number three. Now, I don't really understand why our third opponent canceled a match. Because in my eyes, they still had a shot. But I guess in their eyes... The match was over, so they just canceled the match. But Jolteon, ridiculous today. Picking up big-time damage with Thunder. Big-time KO on, onto Miraidon with Alluring Voice and the Fairy Terror type. And then Kyogre and the rest of the squad really picking up the trash and doing a lot of work on their own. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.